Storm Tracker weather starts now with Grant Garland. Welcome back, everybody. I hope that you have had a fantastic work week. We are now heading into the weekend, so congratulations, we made it. We are looking at uh, some precipitation that is still falling mainly south of Great Falls and bringing much needed moisture for those down towards uh, south of Lewistown, but we really need this. But thankfully, I mean, at least we, it could be worse, right? We, we could be seeing those 76 mile per hour winds uh, gusts that we had on Wednesday right now. So we'll have to just think optimistically. As far as what we've seen with rain, nothing registering at the moment. Is that rain actually being able to hit and the ground without before evaporating. Well, that's the question. As far as what though our numbers are seeing, we haven't been able to look at anything. Going in throughout the next couple of hours, snow will start to diminish as it heads towards the south. Now our winds today, 40 miles an hour at their peak in Great Falls and 45 in Cut Bank. Elsewhere, not really seeing any problems for Glasgow and Jordan, which you guys definitely needed a little break from the past two days where we've seen some high, high wind gusts. Highs observed today, though, almost 50 degrees in the Electric City at 47, 48 in Lewistown, 46 in Cut Bank. Still waiting to get those official numbers for our friends out towards the uh, northeast. The average for this time of year is right around 36 degrees, so we're actually starting to now make a climb, and that will be the continuing trend until uh, we start to dip down in the fall of this year. Our record was set back in 1973 though at 60 degrees when we had great films like Ro Disney's Robin Hood as well as I think Westworld came out. Now that was a movie that was that that's a trip. Outside right now looks beautiful in downtown Great Falls. US Bank ICAM confirms that. Not really seeing any pro uh, any cars that are really going by though on uh, Central Avenue. Currently 43 de degrees is the name of the game for us as well as Lewistown, 30 in Glasgow and a little bit warmer and Jordan at 36 degrees. As we head throughout tonight, clouds are going to break apart. Tomorrow we're going to see mostly sunny skies for many folks. And then on Sunday, our next weather maker is moving in and hopefully we'll be able to get some rain, some flurries from that. Continuing throughout the night though, we will dry out, clouds break it apart, and going into tomorrow morning, we try and see the clouds bring, uh, be brought back in rather to those in Helena, but it's still gonna be a partly sunny day for you guys. The bulk of the clouds stay off towards the west. Great Falls, Haver, Cutbank, Lewistown, and Glasgow though, looks to be a beautiful day. Then we start to see our next weather maker on the horizon by 5 a.m. Sunday. We're going to be looking at that front making its way uh, closer towards the electric city by around 4.30 in the afternoon. Low pressure is over Lewistown. We're going to start to see some wraparound moisture from uh, that said pressure, and we could be looking at uh, some isolated flurries. How about precipitation, though? Well, we could be seeing at around uh, Sunday night by 11 p.m. 607 inch for of rain for Great Falls. We need this, so hopefully we'll get that over three tenths possible for those in Lewistown. And as far as snow is concerned, not really seeing a big problem. Um, Lewistown could be picking up a couple of inches of snow, but elsewhere we'll see our next best chance of snow for the, us on Monday. 28 degrees in Lewistown tonight, 27 in Great Falls as well as Helena and 20. Uh, six in haze throughout the next three days. Clouds are going to be uh, at least for tomorrow. Clouds break apart. Then Sunday clouds are brought back in. We're going to look at uh, isolated chance for flurries that will be on the increase as we head into the night by Monday, which is Martin Luther King Day. 40 degrees will be the name of the game. Look at these temperatures as we head into the next part of our work week. They're going to start to fall drastically 25 next Friday. Tim. Thanks.